Hello and welcome to something really loco. I'm calling it Lemon's Big Loco Shot. Let me explain before we get into it. Two regular stories and a Lemon's Big Shot interview all in one jam-packed video with no time limit because there's so much to cover. So here is a Lemon's Big Loco Shot part of Loco Week. Okay, so this episode is all about Phineas and Ferb, including Phineas and Ferb Mission Marvel. First up, we're going to talk about next week's episode of Phineas and Ferb. First on the episode is Lacandis Cabra, in which the boys look to see if a chupacabra actually exists. After that is Happy Birthday Isabella, where the boys want to celebrate her birthday in a big way, when all Isabella wants is alone time with Phineas. You can catch both of these episodes Friday, July 12th at 9.30 Eastern. Next up is a rumor which I will certainly be following to give you more details on in the future. There is rumor that a second Phineas and Ferb movie is in the works. However, just like High School Musical 3, this movie will be in theaters. It was originally given a release date of July 26th, 2013, but has now been pushed back to sometime in 2014. It has been in development since 2011 and will be produced by Mandeville Films. It's also rumored that the film will be a mix between live action and animation. All right, now here's what you've probably been waiting for. It's Phineas and Ferb, Mission Marvel. First, I'll send it over to me with the interview, and then I'll round out the show with new info on the TV special. Hello and welcome to Lemon's Big Shot, where we take the 60 second shots and extend them with guests. Today's guest is known as our chief executive officer of comics at the Champerl Network. It's Bruce. Hi, I'm happy to be here. All right, so today we're here to talk to you about Phineas and Ferb Mission Marvel. First of all, uh, do you watch Disney Channel, or how long has it been since you've watched Disney Channel? It's actually been a few years since I've watched it, but I did watch it throughout my childhood and even into my teenage years. About the merge of Marvel and Disney, do you think out of all the top comic companies, that was the best decision for Disney to make? I, th I think it was a great idea because Marvel has, has proven time and time again that they've been great with making movies and shows. They made the Avengers that was put on Disney XD, that they made the Avengers movie, they made the Spider-Man franchise. Time and time again, they, they've proven that they can come up with some great stories and really put them in media light. So as I mentioned before, Disney is merging with Marvel, and they're even merging a Disney Channel show with Marvel Comics. It's going to be Phineas and Ferb mission marvel phineas and ferb are going to be getting into some crazy adventure with a lot of the marvel characters how do you feel about that as a concept i think it's a good idea because historically speaking crossovers have worked very well when marvel has crossed over some of their comics it's always been taken well i think if they crossed over with disney shows it would work out great they'd have a great story it'd be great for comic lovers like myself as well so to end up our interview today, do you think that you would watch Disney Channel again to see this special Phineas and Ferb Mission Marvel? I think I will. It sounds exciting to be able to see which characters they use from Marvel Comics. So it'll be fun to watch. Okay, so I've been waiting to post this video forever so that I can confirm a date for you guys. And just recently, Disney released a date. Phineas and Ferb Mission Marvel will come out August 16th at 8 Eastern Standard Time. And I'm already promising you a review of the special to air on the Champ Rule Network on August 14th. So which of these stories interested you the most? Let me know, and I'll see you tomorrow. Find more great videos at youtube.com slash champ rule. This has been a Champ Rule Network production.